Hi, Kristen Martin, pediatric occupational therapist and mom, here today with my two helpers, Tessa and Juliet, and we are going to be talking about five ways to play with water. Um, water is something that most kids just really love. My kids ran outside in the rain today, loved getting wet in the rain on the trampoline. Um, we're going to be talking about some fun ways that you can play with water. I've been known to, they're giving you previews, I have been known to give my kids baths in the middle of the day just because it's something that I know really occupies them. Um, something about water is just a huge draw. So let's get right to it. Um, these activities can be done indoors or outdoors. Um, obviously if you're indoors, you wanna be careful um, if your kids aren't good about keeping water contained. Um, and you might wanna put towels down or something like that. But we will talk about that when we come to it. I would also say that a lot of these activities could even be done in the bathtub if you really wanted to contain the mess. Or if it's a beautiful day, go on outside and try them. Our first way to play with water is to make a color mixing station <laughs> and this is a super fun activity. My kids have done this before and it's entertained them for quite a long time. Um, pretty much all five of them really enjoy this activity. So we are going to show you how to make that. So this is our color mixing station. Um, I just took one of those under the bed boxes um, and empty one of those and that's what's holding all of the things that we'll be mixing just to help to contain the water and then I just put a towel underneath it because we are doing this indoors today. It's a rainy day. So Tessa's holding up um, just a plastic pitcher that I put water and a couple drops of green food coloring in. Juliet has a spray bottle that we put um, some water with some blue food coloring in. What else do we have in here? Um, just an empty bottle of dish soap that we filled up with red colored water, some cups with colored water, um, and then I just also put a big empty bowl in the middle with some measuring cups, um, a spoon if they want to pretend to make soup. But girls, you can show them how you start to mix it and pour it. Okay. Um, it's hard to get this open. They were talking about making soup. Oh yeah, they make like to soup. pretend to make soup. So. All right, let's make soup, daughter. <laughs> Yes. So you can see they like to pour and mix can do it and a spoon up? out um, the water. Um, and it's great for pretend play as well. We need good so this is an activity that will keep them occupied for a while. I'm just going to put some on this because it really helps it. The second way that we can play with water is to paint with it. Um, painting with water is a very clean way of practicing painting skills, of using a paintbrush. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, you could definitely use Q-tips as well for this. Um, and I'm just gonna give you a couple of ideas of things to paint. Um, if you are inside like we are, you can just paint on construction paper. That shows up really well. Juliet, you wanna show them how you paint with the water on construction paper? Yeah, ooh, so you made an X marks the spot. <laughs> um, so you can paint with water on construction paper. You can have your kids paint their toys with water. Um, if you're inside, just give them a little paintbrush or Q-tip and go to town. If you're outside, I like having kids practice painting the sidewalks or um, anything wooden, like a fence or a swing set or something like that will show up um, when you paint it with water. You could even give your kids um, clean paint rollers, like if you go to the dollar store, um, the paint rollers are really fun to pretend to paint with. So um, painting with water is something that a lot of kids can do. Um, Done! And it's great because even if they happen to stick the paintbrush in their mouths, it's just water. Here's her creation. That's a really weird one. The third way that you can play with water is to play a game called Rescue the Toys in the Ice. And all that you do is you just pick a couple of small plastic toys, you put them into a bowl. I just use a small bowl, but I've seen this done with really big bowls as well. You fill it with water and then freeze it overnight or for several hours. And then when you run the whole thing under warm water for just a few seconds, you can pop it out of the bowl. And you can see all of my Paw Patrol characters are there, <laughs> frozen inside the ice. So then you can just give your child a cookie sheet and put that block of ice on it. And then you can give them 
either spray bottles or cups of warm water um, or even tools like I just have like a meat mallet here that they can chop through that ice. Um, toy hammers are really fun for this too. And so then they can chop through the ice to try and rescue those little animals. You can also do this um, if you have small enough toys in an ice cube tray. That might, might be a little bit easier way of allowing them to free those animals a little bit more quickly. But this is a really fun one to do either inside or outside on a hot day. The fourth way that you can play with water involves a little bit of food exploration as well, and that is to make some fruity ice cubes. All that you're going to do, and it's really nice to have your child help you with this, um, is to just cut up some fruit. I have a strawberry here. Um, and you can have your child cut softer fruits like this with just a butter knife. And then just put a little piece of fruit in the bottom of an ice cube tray. Um, and you can go ahead and put all different colors of fruit, make a whole rainbow of fruit. You really just need one little piece of fruit for each ice cube tray um, section. And then you fill that with water. Um, if you really want to get fancy and have your child um, help and develop some of their fine motor skills, you can use a turkey baster and have them squirt the water into each little ice cube tray section. But then once you freeze them, they look like this. And then when you pop them out, you can see the little piece of fruit hiding in it. And this is a great way to add just a little bit of flavor to a glass of water. I know I'm always looking for ways to have my kids drink more water. So this is a fun way to just add a little bit of flavor to water. And then once the ice cube melts, they'll have a fun little frozen treat at the bottom. The fifth way that you can play with water is to make some ice boats. And the way that you do this is you just take some plastic cups. Um, I'm just going to use one of these disposable cups, but I think that any plastic small cup would work well. You fill it with a couple of inches of water. You put a piece of foil over it. And then you stick, um, I use a plastic coffee stirrer, just the little skinny ones, or a popsicle stick would work or a wooden skewer, um, and you're just gonna go ahead and stick it through the foil so that it stays upright. You freeze these overnight um, or for at least a few hours, and then um, you run those over some water to release it. You can go ahead and take the foil off of it, and then when you pop it out of the cup, and you add a decorated paper sail, also a great fine motor activity for kids to cut these out, decorate them. Um, and then I just taped it to that coffee stirrer and it makes a fun little boat. And these are really nice to float in water. Um, even if you don't have like a water table or a kiddie pool, you can just fill any plastic bin with water and make your own water table that can be played with indoors, over a towel, um, or outside if you have outdoor space. And these are fun just to float around. You can have races with these as well. It's fun to race them by making a ramp out of a cookie sheet. You can have kids race them down the ramp. Or if you cut a pool noodle in half, um, you can give each child half of the ramp and then the part with the groove in it can be the racetrack for these. These fit really nicely on those. So you can have races with that as well or see who's melts the fastest or something like that. So you can just make a whole set of little ice boats. So I hope that that gave you some new ways that you can play with water. My girls are still over there playing with the color mixing bin that we made earlier. Um, and these are just some fun things that you can do as the temperatures heat up or even on a rainy day if you need some fun indoors um, if you're out of your usual ideas. So have fun with these.